And we are so excited to have Kurt Lawson here from the West Bloomfield Police Department to talk about their new text 911 service that they have here in West Bloomfield. Kurt, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me, I appreciate it. So let's go through, this is a very new thing, obviously, you know, calling 911 is something that every child learns from their very young age in school, something that's very important for the health and safety of the greater West Bloomfield community. But now you can text. We go through a little bit of the process of that. Well, like you just said, text to 911 service is now available in West Bloomfield. Uh, it's actually called Texty. So it's kind of a cool name. And as you know, in this day and age, most everyone has cell phones. Everyone's always texting. Uh, so really, you have to be a part of that technology. Uh, as a public safety entity, we still prefer that people voice to 911, but this is a great option for those that uh, you know might be deaf, hearing impaired, or speech disabled, or more, maybe they're in a circumstance where there's actually a home invasion in your house or you're a victim of domestic violence, you're witnessing a crime and you, you don't wanna speak. So this is a great option for our community to text to our dispatchers. So we're really excited about it. And then will you just walk us through the steps to this? So I, do you need to download an app? Is it just through the regular text messenger that you have on your phone, whether you have a smartphone or a flip phone? And um, we just walk through the steps of how that process goes down. Well, what we found is with technology, and I'm sure you'll agree, is that easier is better for everyone. And so all you have to do is go on your SMS, which is your, your text uh, on your phone, and dial 911. And immediately you're going to get a live dispatcher texting back to you asking your location, uh, you know, what's going on, and you're getting that communication process with a dispatcher right here in West Bloomfield. And then what is the benefit to having something like this? You mentioned obviously that if there was some sort of home evasion or someone that doesn't necessarily want to or can't talk on the phone, but what does the broader aspect of this and the benefit to the West Bloomfield community being able to have something at their fingertips? Well, I think it's just another tool in our toolbox. It's another tool for the community to use to get in touch with their emergency service providers. Um, and like I said earlier, uh, individuals that, that have some impairments, whether they're deaf, hearing impaired, or speech disabled, uh, they're able to communicate with us very effectively and we can get them the help that they need right away. And then as we go into the holiday season, obviously health and safety is one of our main concerns and top priority here in the greater West Bloomfield community. Can you give us any sort of tips or advice headed into the holiday season, especially with snow on the ground? Very slippery on the roads this morning. Well, certainly what we've seen uh, since COVID is uh, people driving a little bit too fast. Um, we've seen a lot of that up and down Orchard Lake, the Haggerty Corridor. But one of the things I'll tell you we see a lot of during the holiday season is we see a lot of scams. Uh, people are always trying to take advantage of other people. Uh, if anyone calls you or shows up at your door or sends you a letter and they're requesting gift cards um, or personal information like social security numbers, driver's license numbers, absolutely do not provide that information. Uh, no one from the federal government, state government is gonna contact you and ask for your personal information over the phone. So uh, if in doubt, please give us a call at the West Bloomfield Police Department or your local law enforcement agency and we'll be more than glad to come out and, and check it out and make sure that you're safe and not taken advantage of. And then as we head into the colder weather as well, is, do you have any tips for keeping your household up to date and you know with an alarm system or something like that um, do you have any tips for the homeowners of the greater west bloomfield community to kind of make sure that your home is safe this holiday season well, we always encourage our residents uh, to have an alarm system you know cameras these days are super cheap you can go to costco or walmart and get a very cheap camera system that will record around your residence uh, your front and your back door and that technology is so important to us when we do investigations of somewhere to break into your home or or break into your car those videos uh, are a game changer for us and, and we would definitely recommend investing in that technology and then if someone does come into contact with a crime or is in danger um, what are some of the informational pieces that maybe a, a younger child or someone that has never contacted 911 before should know to give the dispatchers so they, they can get there very promptly to the scene. 
Sure. Well, first, if, if you're a witness to a crime, make sure that you are safe. Make yourself safe first. And then you just, like you said, you want to be a really good witness. You want to call 911 or text 911. Let them know your location, uh, what is going on. Speak calmly and clearly. And just provide as much information as you can for the 911 dispatcher. And officers or the fire department will be on their way to help you. And then with the uh, holiday season obviously coming up, is the fire department or the police department doing anything? I know the fire department obviously is doing the Toys for Tots drive with the Marine Corps, but do you guys have any fun holiday events going on with the police department? Well, I know that the West Bloomfield Police Foundation is a very active foundation within the community. Uh, you know, they've been on the news several times for all the great things that they do in the greater West Bloomfield area. And every year they help a family, and I'm sure this year will not be any different. I'm no longer on the foundation. I used to be president, but we have a great team, uh, a, a bunch of young officers and civilian staff that are, are running the foundation, and uh, they're going to do some great things this holiday season. So we'll have to... Uh, circle back and uh, do a story on, on what they've done. Yes, of course. We always love to check in with our local uh, heroes, the police department and the fire department. Obviously, we uh, went and talked about the baseball game that we had this past fall. Very fun, but something a little more serious. remind everyone how badly that we beat the fire department. Yeah, yes, yes. The police department yeah, squashed the, the fire department there. And then a little, a little bit more serious note, and then we'll let you go. For carbon monoxide detector, detectors, you know, people changing their batteries, obviously they say with daylight savings, that's the time to be changing those batteries. Are there any types of advice for people to make sure that those are working in the house? Well, I know that that kind of advice is probably best for the fire department to give, but I know that a lot of residents that we go into, there's not carbon monoxide alarms. And I think that's very important. Uh, you never know if you're going to have some sort of a leak in the furnace. Uh, so make sure you get that checked every year. But I would defer to the fire department who are the real experts in that, in that category. We'll have to get Chief Greg Flynn on to talk about that. But thank you so much for joining us, Kurt. You're welcome. Thanks so much.